All right, Justin, thank you so much. Remembering the man who inspired the Ice Bucket Challenge after a seven-year battle with Lou Gehrig's disease, Pat Quinn passed away on Sunday. But he's being remembered this morning for the social media phenomenon he started. ABC's Will Gans shows you how he put the disease in the spotlight. In the summer of 2014, no one could escape the Ice Bucket Challenge. Not Oprah. <laughs> the Rock. Bill Gates, LeBron James, everyone taking part in one of the most successful social media campaigns ever, founded in part by Pat Quinn. Every challenge, no matter how big or small, was doing what we originally set out to do, which was create awareness, and the money coming in was just completely unexpected. That money now totaling $250 million worldwide, a legacy worthy of Quinn, who was diagnosed with ALS himself back in 2013, shortly after his 30th birthday. It's a disease that takes people as quickly as they diagnose them. He was given this terrible diagnosis, um, a fatal disease, and he decided that he was going to do everything he could. 17 million people have uploaded videos participating in Quinn's Ice Bucket Challenge. The Ice Bucket Challenge was the beginning of the end of ALS. Um, we see that there's actually new treatments uh, that are being developed. Quinn, a huge New York Yankees fan, completing the Ice Bucket Challenge alongside the Red Sox. He took on ALS like it was um, a competitive sport. He, he really uh, was knocked down to the mat several times and he brought himself back up. Pat Quinn's advocacy, shining a light on an often misunderstood and underrepresented disease. I think that when we find the cure for ALS, it will be largely because of Pat. Pat Quinn was 37 years old. He said, all of us will face adversity in our lives. It's how you overcome those challenges that becomes your legacy. Pat Quinn's legacy includes $250 million raised for research and lots and lots of ice cubes. Check out ALS.org for more ways to help. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.